So the Moxie's Heist DLC has been out almost a week and to be honest I'm really enjoying it. Better than I expected by a mile. It offers some amazing new loot and today guys I bring you my top 5 must get legendaries from this DLC. How's it going guys my name is DPJ and today I bring you another Borderlands 3 video. If you do enjoy it leaving a like really helps me out and subscribe if you do want to see more. On screen now you can see my weekly giveaway along with last week's winner. To be with a chance of winning this yourself follow the instructions on screen now and good luck. So within this DLC there are some amazing new additions in terms of legendos. Some super unique, some incredibly powerful, others just plain fun to use. Today I bring you my 5 must get legendos out of the Moxie's heist of the handsome jackpot. So let's get into it. So the first, at 5, is the only class mod or legendary limited to a single vault hunter and that is Zane's new class mod of seeing dead. This class mod in reality has opened the doors to so many new builds with Zane. For the simple fact of what this offers is something unique to this class mod specifically. And thinking about it, I'd never think before seeing this that they would, Gearbox or 2K, incorporate something like this into the game for us Zane mains to chase. What this does is basically activate kill skills via simply shooting at enemies. Every single kill skill you have equipped with your build. This activates them, but not only that, it applies a further 25% effect bonus to each kill skill applied. And it just makes using Zane even more fun, arguably the weakest of all Vault Hunters in terms of DPS, but I do feel this changes things for sure. The last event we got, the Malioran Black Sight event, we saw a great new addition in terms of the Antifreeze class mod. That was my go to class mod for the simple fact of what you could do with that damage wise. That's gone in storage now. This is my new go to for damn sure. Now this is a random drop aboard the handsome jackpot like all new class mods. So good luck in getting one people. Okay so at 4 we have a new Malioran SMG known as the Embers Perch. A lot like the Cloud Kill if you guys know of that except this offers that fire element. But this also has a neat party trick. This beast spawns in a lava pool dealing damage to enemies standing within it. And it isn't weak either, I counted around 10 ticks. And the damage this would do would basically body shot damage, per tick that is. The SMG itself is quite the beast without the addition of the lava pool, but the added benefits of basically just shooting at enemies and this thing spawning at random has made me consider putting this thing up there with the best Malawan SMGs in the game, on par with the Tsunami, the Cutsman and the Kibs worth. That's how much I think of this thing. Now this SMG the Embers Purge is obtained via Embers Crew Challenge. For this you have to locate 5 statues and blow them up. All locations and a complete guide on this you will find within the video description so do check it out if it looks interesting to you. So next up at 3 we have a Torg pistol which seriously surprised me. It's called the Scoville. And initially I thought this thing was going to be another novelty item. I mean this thing shoots bottles of hot sauce. What's more novelty than that? But actually guys, this weapon stands tall with the most powerful pistols in the game. The variant I have you can see on screen now. It is off the charts damage output wise. I'm honestly in love with it. The places I normally test weapons as I like to go to the exact spots that way I can give you guys legit facts and stats uh, when it comes to damage they can deal and compare them against each other. Taking this into said places I was surprised that it was basically one hitting absolutely everything. Something I haven't seen many weapons in this game do, hardly any pistols at all. And for sure it doesn't act like the typical pistol but it does consume that pistol ammo so that's what it is. This really deals damage a lot like heavy weapons of the game which is crazy if you think about it. This is a must get weapon, it's a beast and I'm sure you will love it. So the Scoville is obtained via much like the Embers Perch. This again is a crew challenge reward. And you basically have to locate and shoot 5 bottles of hot sauce. Again guys if you don't have this weapon yet you will find a complete guide on this and the locations of all hot sauce bottles within my video in the video description. So check that out. So next up we have what is probably the most powerful weapon in the game now. It's called the Iron Cannon and it's an Otter Monster People. Now this weapon is a heavy, 
but it's 100% worth a place in your loadout. Heavies before this didn't really make much sense to me. Yes, they were powerful, but DPS wise, they were not that great. They just burn through ammo and are just super slow. This however is not like that. Because it's so powerful, it seems like it's ammo lasts forever. And the point I don't think there's a boss outside of Mayhem 4 that could take all of these things shots and survive tells you this thing is an absolute monster. It's amazing for DPS, it's amazing for taking out bosses and it's amazing for taking out mobs of ads. It's just a great all round fun weapon to use and this is without any specific builds either which no doubt would just make this thing even more of a monster. Now what's crazy about this is the fact you can literally get this 100% of the time as I'm certain at the moment it's a guaranteed drop which means you can farm for days until you get that perfect roll which suits your build. So the boss to farm for this is the Fabricator Mark II located upon Jack's secret and handsome jackpot. With a save point right nearby also guys it makes farming this boss who is actually easy to defeat a walk in the park. So go get this thing guys, you will not be disappointed. Okay, so at number 1 and what in my opinion is the best weapon to come out of this DLC, and to be honest guys it was a mix up between this and the iron cannon, it is the lucky 7. Now the lucky 7 is a pistol with a twist, because what happens is, every time you reload this thing, you can roll 5 random perks, which apply to that next clip until you reload again. So when you reload you will see a quick flash of 5 boxes on your screen. Each box is home to a perk. We have a crit perk in that slot 1 which makes every shot no matter where you hit do critical damage. In slot 2 we have full auto, kinda speaks for itself. In slot 3 we have a random elemental effect. In slot 4 we have explosive rounds and in slot 5 we have a lucky 7 which with every single shot and single ammo consumed it shoots 7 projectiles, absolutely crazy. Now when these perks come into play is at complete random, you can roll 4 perks, 3 perks, 2 perks, 1 perks or you can roll 5 perks, but when you do roll 5 perks guys this is up there with the most powerful weapons in this game, DPS wise I don't think anything can touch this. The thing is just incredible and it also has the design to go with it. Now I've rolled 5 perks at the same time quite a few times fighting off against bosses and it's a lot like what we see, I don't know if you've seen the stacking damage glitch on things like the Lucian's Call and so forth but it acts like that, it kills that quick, it's absolutely ridiculous. Now the Lucky 7 I do insist you trying to get that perfect roll which fits your build. The best place to farm this weapon is the Scrap Trap Prime who I've already made an amazing farm guide on which will no doubt see you getting this like nothing. It's crazy, that video you'll find linked within the video description so do check it out people. So yeah guys, these are my top 5 legendaries from the Moxie's Heist of the Handsome Jackpot. Tell me down below what your favourite is so far and why. Seeing Dead, Ember's Purge, Skullville, Iron Cannon and the Lucky 7, 5 must get items from this new DLC. People on that note we have come to the end of the video, if you guys enjoyed it leaving a like really helps out, if you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands videos be sure to subscribe and if you never want to miss a video I upload you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys thanks as always for stopping by, hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.